I'm headed to I-24 eastbound exit 73, uh, which is the Gracie Newstead exit. I'm headed over there for a stolen tractor, stolen semi. It is noon on Wednesday. Uh, it's a it's a nice 85 degrees. I am in uh, this fantastic construction zone they have designed. They have decided to design while they do uh, interstate road work. I'm sure we'll get a few videos in this construction zone as it is here. I'll show you. So going westbound, it looks like this: one lane, no shoulder, concrete divider. Eastbound has two lanes, no shoulder, <laughs> concrete divider. So as you can see, like right there, there's a couple of them coming in. But anyway, the Kentucky State Police called, requested us come out and uh, recover this stolen semi only. No trailer, just semi. I don't have any much more details than that. So we're gonna get on scene and figure out when they come across the phone, they always seem a little bit worse than they really are. Oh my God, it's a stolen semi. Well, it may just be one of those things where the company reported it stolen because the driver was supposed to turn it in or something, but who knows. We'll find out when we get on scene. While I head to this scene, I'm going to insert uh, a video. I started this film the other day for an off-road recovery and I didn't end up getting to go. So I did go out, I started heading out that way and it ended up GOAing. So I kind of talk about all that and everything going on and how those work uh, from our side of things. So while I'm in route to this call, I'm gonna go ahead and insert that video right here. Well, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're a repeat customer. We are, uh, well, I was headed out to an off-road recovery out and land between the lakes but uh they canceled jeep club got out to it before i was able to get to it which is no big deal it happens all the time but um so i was going to have a off-road recovery of a toyota tacoma but not anymore so um that's a little bit of that's kind of what happens uh especially with these off-road recoveries we we do them um pretty consistently but it's normally when um like during the week when the members of the Jeep club are at work. So there's a Jeep club around here called Paducah Jeep Owners Club or PJOC, PJOC. And they basically get together on the weekends and go for rides, which I used to do the same thing before I got in the towing industry. Oh man, if I get these wipers figured out, that'd be great. So I used to do the same thing on the weekends, just go ride around in LBL. And um, that club's actually gotten big enough to where um, the forestry service calls them sometimes when they come up on these people or when people call them and um, and are stuck. So they go around and they they volunteer and they help people out and they get people unstuck and uh, stuff like that. Um, I don't have anything against what they the uh, Paducah Jeep Owners Club does. They're great people. I I've had customers call them where they call me. They're like, hey, you know, we're out here just goofing off and don't really have a lot of money and and coming up on you know hard times just trying to have fun and we got stuck so i'd reach out to the jeep owners club for people and, and tell them hey this person's stuck and and here's where they are and here's their phone number and they usually drop somebody will drop what they're doing and go help them out so like i said they're really good people but from us as a business standpoint we got to make money right we got to spend time for me as a driver or it's usually steven that does our off-road recovery to drive all the way out here because it's usually about at least 30 to 45 minute drive to get out here and then it just get canceled because the jeep club is just out doing their thing so we've started a you know, charging an upfront fee for it because this happens and we explain it in full and they're like okay well go ahead and come on out because if they can't get me or they don't get here or whatever they want the peace of mind of knowing that somebody came and then of course the jeep owners club doesn't charge them so they they uh the, you know the members all happy there they don't end up paying twice and stuff like that so anyway that's a little bit of kind of behind the scenes of what we deal with we'd prefer not to do off-road recoveries they're kind of a pain in the butt they usually take a lot of drivers time 
and they really don't when you go from a business standpoint on how much each run makes people are willing to pay for our time to come out and do it versus like the time it takes him to go out and do it it's it's not overly profitable it's just one of those things we do to try and help the community we try to give people other resorts like using the jeep owners club versus us first but if they want to pay for us to come out we'll go do it it's a service we offer so and they're mostly most of the time it's like a honda civic or something or a toyota pickup that was out four wheeling by itself or a honda that's off on a road where they shouldn't have been all the roads out land between the lakes are numbered in a uh in an order to where the lower the number the easier the road is to drive on the higher the number the more of a uh, truck you should have equipped for off-road but you know usually usually what we get into is we find you know like rav4s and and crossover suvs out on 300 trails which uh 300 trail you should be in a four-wheel drive pickup or a jeep or something a little bit better for off-road we'll find a you know a crossover suv I'll, all wheel drive out there just barely hung up on something so it's not like any major extensive off-road deal usually but anyway that's a little bit it so i'll either i don't know if i'll put this as its own little short little clip video and i may just tack this on to another video but anyway thank you guys for watching and we don't get them all but that's part of it so welcome to the towing industry okay bye all right let's see what we got How are you? Hey, um, will you be would I be able to ride with you to your location to to so I can get my stuff out yeah. uh, or get a U-Haul truck from there? I okay. will I will re I already talked to the officer yeah. he was gonna ask you. Okay. But you know, if yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yep. Morning. There you go. What's going on? So what's he, the deal? He got fired. Okay. He got fired. Yeah. The company wanted the vehicle back. He said, when I get back to Florida, I'll give you the vehicle back. They so don't they, want it. They, they don't want him to drive it back? Correct. Yeah. So they uh, made a stolen vehicle. Back. We had another unit that's doing striping detail in the last one. We encountered this vehicle, pulled him over, um, and I guess Post One talked to the company. They said, they don't want to press charges, we just want to give it back. Okay. He can hit the road higher. But he has nowhere to go, so you're taking it back to Katie's or uh Oak Grove. Just take him. You 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 got the key, so you yeah. keep going. Yeah. And drop him off somewhere in Oak Grove, I guess, so we can okay. get a I'll drop him off truck stop or whatever. Yeah. So he can get a U-Haul or whatever. That'll work. Yeah. Easy enough, man. Yeah, too easy, brother. Appreciate yeah, it. Brother. I'll get this loaded up and out of here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is save the company some money on the drive shaft removal. Alright. If you don't mind backing up, I'm just gonna grab this thing from the back and then I'll back it down the ramp and go. That way they don't have to get a drive shaft put back in and all that stuff, so. Yeah, you can ride with me, buddy. I'll take you back to uh, yeah, exit 86 to the truck stop there where you can get them to bring you a rental car or whatever. Oh no, I so, was gonna get a U-Haul. I don't know where one is I, I, that I can I, get into. Where, where, no, 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 no. You can drop me, it, let me ask you something, it's your yard. It's like in the middle of nowhere. It's at exit 89, kind of. It's not really in the middle of nowhere, but there's nothing around it for you to like walk to or nothing. No, if it, if any taxis or anything like that. Are you right. could try. You'd be better off if they drop you at a truck stop. Get your U-Haul. I'll give you the address. You can come get your stuff. 
Oh, hey, I can get yeah, a U-Haul from, will they bring it to me? To the truck stop, the U-Haul? Well, you're better off getting a taxi from a truck stop. Oh, okay, versus gotcha. from our location, which oh, is well, okay. harder to find. Got, yeah, yeah, so let cool. me take you to a truck stop gotcha. where you can get a taxi to go get a U-Haul, and then you can come get your personals yeah, out of the truck. I appreciate it, All man. Right, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn around and come grab this from the back, All right, so. no problem. Yeah, that's the situation, so. I kind of figured that's what it was, is a driver got terminated and they don't want him driving the truck no more, which I can't blame him. So, I'm just gonna run down the bottom of the ramp and come up here backwards. Luckily, there's not a lot of traffic on this ramp. So, going down here and turning around is not a big deal. I say that in every single car in the and the area is going to come off this ramp. Since this truck, this unit is still drivable and all that, I don't want to pull the drive shaft since we don't reinstall drive lines. I don't want to make the trucking company have to deal with getting it reinstalled and and all that um so it's just just as easy for me to go ahead and grab it from the back up I didn't know if I was gonna have keys or anything like that so I went ahead and grabbed it from the front because it's much easier um, in that sense I don't need to strap the steering wheel or anything if I grab it from the front I don't we do um, to keep the wheel straight while going down the road but if say the truck was locked up and abandoned or something towing it from the rear I have to figure out how to strap the steering wheel uh, or unlock the truck and if it's like abandoned like that, I don't like to unlock it and get in it. Because you never know what somebody's going to say they had in there and actually didn't or whatever. So. Out the U bolt cups. Uh, whatever one you want. Uh, Way. There's a pilot at exit at the same exit. Oh and yeah, it's, right out this Yeah, side. and it's not far from a U-Haul, but I won't be able to get into the U-Haul place. Oh no, that's cool. I can so, walk through the U-Haul. That's cool. Well, it's farther than you probably want to walk. It's like a mile or two, but oh. it's not not that far at all. So. Yeah, you can, yeah. If we drive, if we drive by, I'll I'll I'll. I'll, I'll well, I won't be by it. Oh, okay. I, we don't go by it, but I can drop you off at the pilot, and you can catch a ride yeah. down to it. That's cool. Yeah, but I'm gonna Looking for an air dump. There it is. Yeah.
Excuse me, buddy. I gotta chain up that axle. Cut on a bolt. Didn't want to give me no slack. It's like so covered in grease. <laughs>
hook them in. No, I do not trust the seat belt, like a lot of drivers do, to each their own. I run two straps. And then as a backup, just in case those fail, this will at least keep it from kicking all the way out. straight all right these mirrors have chrome covers on them they don't particularly care we're going backwards so they keep that chrome cover from flying off I don't feel like buying one The end. Huh? I ran out right at the end. Yeah, so it doesn't. Uh, wind. Well, those chrome covers don't particularly care for going backwards oh. in the wind, and they'll fly off. This is the way I strap fairings to each their own. I've not had this fail me yet. Keyword being yet. But this is the way I do it, this is the way I teach it. The whole fairing okay. to keep the whole fairing attached. Okay. You know, I never seen. I, I had that whole couple of times. Never seen nobody do none of that. Well, some people like to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. Now, if you've been towed from the front, you wouldn't have to do this. Yeah. Only from the rear. Yeah, this is a, this is a Yeah. And they, that's where they did, they put the actual Yep. Whatever's automatic. Wow. Oh, come on. Yep. Huh. 
All right. Bags are strapped, steering wheel strapped. Axles chain. Don't be afraid to break it. So we'll just leave those folded out for now. They'll be alright. Turn on my tow light. This exit ramp is one of those ones that a lot of trucks stop at, but there's nothing here. So of course it's a mess. And then truck drivers wonder why people, nobody wants them in their parking lots. Well, because as soon as you look the other way, they want to throw the trash all along the side of the road. We're out in the parking lot. Of throwing it away, so yeah, There's that all right, just to go over my checklist tow line wheel, axle, fairings, safeties, straps. Cool. I feel like, oh, I gotta take some pictures. I forgot to do that. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. I'm going to back all the way down and out on to uh, 117 there, and then I'll just hit the ramp and go. All right. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, guys. There she is. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. See you next time. Okay, bye.